Hello, my name is Philip. The quote I chose for this presentation is, A former self is a fool, an insufferable ass, but he is still human. You'd no more turn him out than any kind of cripple, would you? The source of this quote is Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Pynchon. The reason I chose this quote is because to me it is about growth and moving forward like a snake shedding skin, or a, a self shedding past selves. And to understand this is in a way to be at peace with one's whole life, which is made up of infinite former selves. And I also stress the importance of understanding and those former selves because even though we may find them foolish now, we have developed into who we are because of them. This also ties into Nietzsche's theme, themes of amor fati and eternal recurrence. Amor fati simply translates to the love of fate, which is that the best option given that we have been put in the situation we've been put in, and we don't really know why, is to just love it and to love our entire past. We can't really do anything about it. So just love it and move on. And another theme, which is more like a thought exper experiment, is the theme of eternal recurrence. And in this, one is to imagine their life being this only life, the only life there is, and that it will be repeated infinitely over and over and over again. And then to think, how will you live it, knowing or thinking that it could be something that's live it as if it will be repeated over and over again because it may be this is all we have and it, it, and that's it and that's Nietzsche's affirmation of life which very much stresses that point and that's the purpose of the thought experiment which leads me to my interests I am very interested in philosophy and as as well as other academic interests such as psychology, biology, literature, mathematics, and history. I also really enjoy being in nature and any activities that are physical activities done in nature, such as kayaking, hiking, swimming, anything in the ocean. I also enjoy anything in the forest. And I do enjoy bird watching as well. I also enjoy how the realms of knowledge, of, of my academic knowledge, interact with that which I see in nature. And one example of how they intersect and, re, and inter, are interrelated is uh, emergent properties. And this is when something is more than just the sum of its parts, such as the mind coming, being an epiphenomena from the brain, uh, which is to say that the mind is something much more than just a brain or just a bunch of neurons. You get a mind all of a sudden. And I think we would all agree that that's much greater and not equal to just a bunch of neurons. And similarly, an ant colony is made up of a certain number of ants. However, at a certain point, the ants will behave differently. And that is known as an emergent property. Another something which occurs in nature and throughout mathematics as well. It's actually a mathematical function, are fractals, uh, recursion. And we see this in nature. You can see, the, see it in plants. You can see it in galaxies. The structure, which seem to endlessly repeat themselves, and this is similar to, but with a, a mutative aspect. Um, because we don't live in a platonic universe. Uh, however, and I find this to be like life itself, which is making more and more copies of itself endlessly, going on and on and on. Uh, though, of course, sometimes the copies are a little different, like with humans. Um, this quote in the book that I read it from, I have to admit I didn't finish it, though it was recommended to me by a professor. At the time, I was looking for more meaning in a book, and this was more of a book that, as my professor said, was for the ride and for the experience to enjoy it. And I ended up reading 
a different book by Herman Hess called The Glass Bead Game, which is full of tidbits of meaning that I really enjoyed and is an excellent book. But I also understand now that it isn't just about meaning, but experience. And I may finish the book now. For knowledge and meaning without experience aren't, don't amount to very much. It's not really a life lived. We have to go along for the ride, and it's the experience that counts. In a way, what I am now is because of all those selves, those previous past selves, even the foolish ones. And I will conclude there. Thank you.